Coming up right here on the Double RT Boxing Show, we are talking pound for pound King Terrence Bud Crawford taking on Jose Benavides Jr. October 13th, this Saturday. Let's get into it. Now, Jose Benavides coming in, you know, off his uh, 19 months layoff, he had two fights from being shot. Uh, 27 0, 18 KOs. So it's kind of hard. How do you want to judge him? From the, before he got shot, you want to add that onto his career right now? You know, he has 123 rounds, 67 knockout ratio, age 26, orthodox. Now he's 6'2 with a 73 inch reach. He has the height on Crawford. 6'2 with a 72 inch reach. Crawford, I believe it's 5'10. We will get it up right here. 5'10. I don't know Crawford's reach. I want to say like 68 or something. 70. Oh, he's 5'8. He's even shorter than that. 5'8 with a 70 inch reach. What was Ndongo? Ndongo was 5'10 with a 70 inch. So Benavides is going to have the height on him big time. Big time. That's going to be a nice little something got to give here, right? Supposedly. What was 5'11 with a 72 inch reach was uh, Breedis Prescott. So the reach is going to be similar to that and it had no effect on Crawford. So 5'11, two more inches taller than Breedis Prescott. Crawford seemed to do that just fine and dandy. Now, before we go into the Bud Crawford, who is 33 and 0, 24 KOs, WBO champion. You know, we know all about Bud. 31 age, 5'8", 70 inches, like I just said. We're going to spend this little video on Jose Benavides. So, like I said, his two fights from his victory, from being shot, his comeback after a 19 month layoff. Matthew Stroh TKO'd him in the eighth round out of eight rounds. And Frank Rojas TKO'd him in the first round. So he's coming off with two KOs, but let's let's just dig into it, you know. And, and before that, if you want to say what did he do before that, he fought uh, Francisco Santana, 2016, a unanimous decision, uh, and a 10 rounder. Now Francisco Santana, before he fought, um, before he fought Jose Benavides. He, you got, I said, like, okay, like, who, who, who are these people? What are they? You know, 27-0. He fought Ed Prades, who was 36-5-1. So it sounds like a nice, good record, right? But then you look at the three guys he fought before he had that fight with Francisco Santana, Ed Prades. Remember, before Ed Prades fought Francisco Santana, who fought Jose Berendez. The due opponent's record was 43-21-3. And, and Jose Benavidez's opponent beat that guy. And then the other guy Francisco Santana fought was Armin Overs. The hell was this dude's name? Dude's name is uh, Armin Oversee. Francisco, this dude's name was Armand Obispan. Now he fought Julian Williams and Brad Solomon. Good names. He lost them. But before he fought those two guys, he fought three guys. Records were 7 and 17, 1 and 5, 5, 5 and 1. That's who he truly is. And he fought Francisco Santana. And that's who Jose Benavidez beat in 2016. That was his last big win. So you kind of see, yeah, like I said, he beat beat that guy. But you see what the record of the competition Francisco Santana had. So at the record of 24 and one, 24 and four and one, Francisco Santana had. You saw his competition, and again. Since his comeback, his two KO comeback, 
Jose Benavides, Matthew Strout. Okay. His record. It, it, it gets good, people. It gets good. You know? It gets real interesting. If, if, if you like the numbers and stuff. If you like numbers. He fought Mike Alvarado, 36-4. He lost. He fought Ramon Alvarez, 36-4-0. Uh, he lost. He fought Mark DeLuca, 15-0 and lost. Uh, but the people he won in 2016, the same year that Jose Benavides had his last fight, he beat Ho- Joseph Figueroa, 11-56-5. Andrew Baker, 10-43-2. He beat jo- uh, Andrew Baker, 10-43-2, and then Marquise Jackson, 3-19. and Combined record of 24, 118 losses and seven draws. That was that was Marcus Martin Strode's last three wins going into the Jose Benavides fight. 24, 118, and seven draws. But fucking Jose Benavides with eight rounds with him and knocked him out. Okay, I get it. His first fight back after 19 years, he needs a softball. But all right, he's going to a Crawford after this. So just remember that. Just remember that. That's why we're, that's why we're bringing it up. And then his last fight, Frank Rojas. Eight fights going into Jose Benavides. Eight fights. His opponent's record was 14 and 24. Eight fights for 14 and 24. One and two, two and three, oh and three, two and one, oh and three, one and six. No, uh, seven and six, one and four, one and two, for a combined record of fourteen and twenty-four. He beat them all, though. He beat them all, and then he got into the ring with Jose Benavides and got knocked down in the first round, like in forty seconds. So those two fights got uh, Jose Benavides in the ring with Crawford. It's a fucking killer. As in uh, the words of Tyson Fury, "Who are you? Who are you? Who are you?" Fucking Dosser. Yeah, man. Now, if you could say, hey, everyone needs that moment to shine, let's see what Jose Benavides can do. Let's play it fair. Let's play it down the line right here on Double RT Boxing, the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. Talk about some Dossers here. He's going to have that height, that six foot height, 73 inch reach. He's going to try and keep. His jab is okay. He has a nice stiff one too. His body attack, even though it, it beats these beats these people up, it's wide. It's loopy wide. Crawford's gonna see it coming down the middle. Crawford's gonna go inside this guy and challenge him. Crawford's gonna dog him just because remember they had that little press conference in the back weighing beef about a fight. Crawford's gonna fight this guy. He's going to show him something. He's going to, bo- he's going to outbox him both hands. He's going to start fighting him inside. And we're going to see if Jose can fight on the back foot. How good is his movement? He won't be able to catch Crawford. Crawford's going to be able to pick him on the side. I got Crawford possibly uh, stopping Jose Benavides in about the eighth, ninth round. Right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A.